What's up YouTube? I haven't been on here in a while. I've been working my booty off doing a lot of these events and concerts and stuff. And shout out Paramore. We did this like I think a month ago or something. Um, cool band. We actually just did the out for pink. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you I already have some pre-made coffee. So today um, I keep seeing on my feed this dude named Ethan, I'm sure he's a barista or something, he keeps giving me really good ideas on how to make coffee, so this is kind of my way of doing it, but he does it way better. <laughs> he's super cool though, I like his videos and stuff on here, so this is how to make your own cream, or how to make your own creamer instead of like, you know, buying at a store. <laughs> super easy, quick video for you, so let's go. Okay, we got that one. <laughs> got our sweet condensed milk right here. Ow, shit, I poked myself. And that sharp metal edge. <laughs> Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now, um, I'm trying to figure out which one I do wanna use actually, because you could use evaporated milk and then just, you know, make your own cream with that. But sweetened condensed milk is already, like, if you want your coffee to be sweeter, I'm more of, like, a sweet coffee person, obviously. And look at all this coffee. You've seen this in videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is my newest one, Turkish coffee, which I know how to make now because I have this. And this is really easy to make, too, but I think I've already done that. <laughs> um, anyways, so making your own cream... Get yourself one of these, or like I said, you could put it in like a pot or something like that, right? Welcome back! <laughs> so I just ended up pouring both of them in there, like this one. I'm going to go ahead and put my cinnamon in there. And then, put that away. Now I'm going to grab two sugars. Hard to do this with one hand, not three, two. <laughs> this is probably like the healthier version to do this instead of buying the creamer uh, at the store. You can, like I said, you can buy this condensed milk or evaporated milk to do this. So turn your stove on, put your two sugars in there. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and I'm gonna stir it with my frother. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that now. Right now, basically I'm just trying to get some foam for my coffee. This is looking pretty good so far. Go ahead and take that off. This is DIY, do it at home with me, Mike's Coffee Shop. <laughs> Woo, you can tell that is hot. Probably should rub that off. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our pre-made coffee in there. All right, so we're going to let that simmer a bit. Let it heat up nicely. And I'm going to put it in this glass coffee cup to make the aesthetic look nice. <laughs> All right, so quick... Wait, hmm. All right, so quick PSA. If you want to learn to make your own coffee... As much as I love drinking coffee, um, there's always new experiences and new ways of doing it, which is why I love coffee, um, which is great. <laughs> I just learned this by buying condensed milk from the dude on YouTube. I was like, oh, sick. I have a good idea. I'm going to do that. So, all right, cool. Now, <laughs> real quick, now this is all simmered. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and pour it in the glass, and I'll do that for you right now. Yep, kind of spilled. That's okay. I'll clean it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pour our self-made creamer in there. <laughs> the healthy creamer that we did. <laughs> and it has a little bit of foam as well. Let's go ahead and give a taste test. All 
I'm glad I watched Ethan's video because that is delicious. <laughs> that is delicioso. <laughs> so yeah, just go ahead. And it's not a plug for anything, but go buy sweetened condensed milk or evaporated milk and add whatever like sweetener you want, like cinnamon. Like I said, you could use basically um, anything that's going to make your coffee really, really good. So obviously like Hershey's chocolate syrup, or you could use, this is how most mochas are made anyway. This is how I make mine. But you could use that if you want. Your own like chocolate vibe coffee. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe if you want to put some cloves, I think it'd make it a little bit of spice. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and, uh, subscribe for great coffee videos or good coffee DIYs. Do it uh, from home. <laughs> good coffee DIYs from home. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. So, subscribe and, uh, see you on the next one.